you guys it's been so long <sighs> quick recap update no longer live in dallas or fort worth i live in my hometown because the lord sent me here and it's been a crazy journey i've been here since december but anyways i'm just on here because i want to share this crazy testimony of how the lord gave me a car okay a car like the ones you drive on the street <laughs> so what happened was sometime last year the lord put in my heart to give my car away and then um it's been crazy months just people have been so kind so gracious to just help me and either let me borrow their cars or take me places or whatever so shout out to you guys i love you so much um and it's been it's been a couple months however um in the month of february my brother let me borrow his car since i was driving to and fro work and all that and um we started talking and he was like what are your plans for your car like your own car like you don't get your own car <laughs> no it's like I don't have plans I need to pray about it so with like beautiful moments or opportunities where you're gonna lean into the Lord it's always amazing to do it in community seek wise counsel the Bible says and then also just community and friends that can partner with you in prayer and in fasting and so some of my beautiful friends partnered with me and I was just asking the Lord and not so much like give me a car but what is your will and give me wisdom that was my prayer and um he and his kindness and and faithfulness was like i'm going to change the trajectory of what you know you're doing with your life and i was like okay a lot um just to summarize and so then it's the end of february and i had told my brother by the end of february i'll give you an answer and literally we had an extra day you guys it's like the 29th of february this year and i get off work and i have home church it's my first time going to home church i've never been i'm the new girl in town and it's weird but i'm just gonna force myself to go even though i was also very tired after work but i was like i'm just gonna go and the lord's gonna be with me and then i was like god do you have an answer for me because i don't feel like i i don't know what to do yet about this car situation and i just go by faith i go to home church every, everything was good blah 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 at the very end the leader of home church literally goes i just feel in my spirit like we're supposed to just bring the things we've been praying for or believing god and share it with someone so that they can give an answer about you know what you're praying for and i'm like so then i'm like god who do you want me to go to and the lord highlighted this couple to me that was literally sitting next to me and their older couple and um i just turn and i'm like hey um can you please partner with me in prayer because i've been asking god like concerning my car situation for wisdom and you know whatever and they're like what's your car situation and i tell them i borrow my car my brother's car blah 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 and they're like her eyes get watery and she turns looks to her husband and they smile at each other they don't say anything they just smile at each other and she puts her hand on me she's like honey we have your car and i was like i've never met these people in my life okay and she, i was like what and she was like we've had this car that's just sitting on our driveway and our neighbors come and ask us if we're selling it all the time but we just felt from god to just like keep it and she's like it's for you we believe this is your car and i was like what and in my head i was like the neighbors go and ask for it maybe it's a really nice car so i was like are you selling it to me you know because so i was like i know really i can't buy it <laughs> but she was like no we're giving it to you and i was like are you serious and she's like yes it's yours and i literally just start sobbing and they just hug me and we end up talking you know and then praying together and then she's like come by tomorrow because this was thursday come by tomorrow march 1st you guys <sighs> and she's like and i'm gonna get everything fixed for you like whatever needs fixing the inspection all the stuff and then she's like and then you can take it i drove up the next day she got like new tires new battery antifreeze inspection done all the things and was like it's yours 
and I drove away with a car, you guys. And it's not, I guess I can show you because I'm at my window. I don't know if you can see it, but it's that white one over there. There's like this weird stuff on my window. Anyways, yeah, I have a car. And I just want to like say that it's literally the Lord's provision. It's like he did that miracle. There's no other. And I want to encourage you like in the middle of waiting for what you feel God's promised you or what you need. Um, enjoy God because even as I was like seeking the Lord. He just kept reminding me like as Murray, like these things are temporary. I am eternal. You are an eternal being. So let's just connect, you know? And so I was very intentional with hanging out with Jesus and getting to know him, going on dates with him, introducing him to people, like just loving, being loved by him and loving him um, more than just wanting his stuff that he can give for me. And so, yeah, that's my story, you guys. I, I pray blessings for you and that the Lord... Um, would encourage you in your waiting, but also that you would receive what you have been contending for because he's faithful. And even in the praying and fasting time, like it was not perfect by any means.